Hi, this is Elisa from Loco King Robberstein. Welcome to my channel. Are you ready for today's video? Today's video, I'm going to share with you how I use a watercolor pencil to color the detail stamp image. So at this moment, I just, uh, um, I have created over 300 YouTube videos. I really like to find out how many of Loco King's YouTube video you have been watching. If you can leave me a comment below, that will be great. I really like to find out how many videos all my viewers have been watching. I'm so excited to see the comments, so make sure to leave me the comments. So have you smiled and laughed today? I sure did. I'm going to share with you what make me smile and laugh today. So let's start today's video. So all the eight brand new combos that will be um, available on the Local Kings uh, online website soon so but before i launch uh, the promotion i'd like to share with you how to use uh, all those stamps and i promise you um i will re um, use those stamps again so i like to use the same stamp to create all different kind of project so and then but now i just want to share with you how i how to um how how like a all the different kind of um, coloring techniques that I use all the time to coloring the details there. So if you haven't got a chance to take a look at the last few videos, make sure you check it out. I have created three videos by using the 2021's full new release and uh, um, just to give you some idea of what they look like. Okay, so that's the one, the bubbles. And then look those the bubbles after they um those the 3D eyeball after they dry how gorgeous are they I think it uh, looks much better than the, those kind of googly eyes those googly eyes it just look so cute but the, those kind of 3D eyeball is looks just more 3D if you would like to learn how to create all those 3D eyeballs make sure you visit local kings online video library. And I will put the uh, um the link below so you can just create the link. So that's uh, the bubbles, and this is actually is this way. This one I created this uh, um loop to hold this card because it's kind this card is kind of thick. Okay, so this is, oh I just killed my frog again. This is the Mr. London frog. If you like to find out how did I get a name for the Mr. London frog, make sure you watch the video number one thirty five. So this is something made me laugh to um today and i would like to share with you actually it's from one of my viewer and i hope she doesn't mind i share her funny story with you so um in this video i was mentioning the my viewers if you like to find out how did i mean, uh, name the mr london frog make sure you watch your video 135 right and then so and then king from alaska she sent me a uh, I think it was a text message. She was mentioning when she was a little kid and then she was um she was reading a book and then she thought the name of the book is called Great Brain. So she was kind of reading this book and after after a while she actually rec recognized that the book is called Great Brian. But I kind of like like a gray brain. If they say the gray brain, I probably will read that book because something about the gray brain. But if they say the gray Brian, uh, probably I'm not interested in Brian. So that's just hilarious. And thank you for sharing with me, King. And then it did make me laugh. So if you would like to know how did I name uh, Mr. London Frog, make sure you watch the video one um 135. I'm sure it will make you smile. Okay, and the, here is another project that uh, I was to share with you guys uh, how to color in this detail stamp by using the Copic uh, alcohol markers. You can use uh, all kind of markers, uh, any kind of tool that you have handy, and uh, it would any tool work is the good tool. Okay, so today is, we are going to color these the puffy cheeks. Okay, so this is going to be. The puffy cheeks. I think it's very cute. Actually, at the recent uh, moment, the puffy cheek is the number one vote. So a lot of people like the puffy cheeks. Include the Tracy, the person who doesn't like the squirrel. Okay, I'm glad Tracy likes uh, these uh, little cheek monks. The puffy cheeks are very cute. Okay, and then that's uh, today's project. And I'm going to share with you how did I color it. Before I start coloring, would you like to take a guess? How did I color these... Uh, little guy okay 
I actually use the color pencil. Duh, I think I was mentioning in the beginning of the video. Sorry. Yeah, I am actually use the uh, water color pencils. And you know what? You don't have to spend like a, a lot of money to buy the expensive uh color pencil but uh, try to get a, a box of good quality uh watercolor pencil they don't have to be like a professional gray but don't buy the color pencil from the like a dollar store they are cheap but uh, be honest with you the quality is uh, not good enough so the last time when i was uh, uh was at a costco i saw a set of a color pencil 72 dollars i think it's the only um $17.99 is a very good price I didn't get it because I just uh, purchased a, a box of color pencil it cost me a lot of money and I, I kind of regret it so this set of color pencil I actually had when I was in the high school so take a look you can see I didn't really use that probably only the white one I use a lot because uh, um I run out the white one so I kind of buy the individual white one so to be able to make your color pencil artworks looks great, the very important thing is you got to have a, a pencil sharpener handy. You got to have a, your color pencil sharp all the time. And I'm going to share with you a few of the how I coloring and I think it was definitely uh, very helpful. So instead of uh, color um, stamping the black ink pack on the white color stuff, I actually stamping on these uh, uh, what's this color? Color call is color call color call like a pot, like a, those kind of ceramic garden pots color. What do you call this one? Pots color, right? I'm horrible with the the name of all those impact. Okay, so because uh, um, or you can use uh, like a copay marker, a uh, water based marker. You can do um, my last video was using the marker as a watercolor to show you coloring. You know what? You're just learning a technique and try on all the stamp image that you like. But the color with watercolor pencil, um, it does have a little bit um, um trick tips, and I'm gonna share with you and hope you like it. If you find that these tips help you, um, leave me a comment below. Let me know. I will be very happy. And I know all oh, you guys like this kind of information. So for my following um uh, video, I will um um pay attention to um mention those kind of things that you like to know. So if you do like this video, give me a thumb up, let me know, and uh, leave me a comment. I read everybody's thing, uh, everybody's comment. I'm so enjoy. Some of them just make me laugh. Okay, so make sure um your um your ink uh, ink uh, stamp image is completely dry before we start to do the coloring, and then you can see I didn't really have a too many color. White is a must have, and then green green I have a two green if you are not sure what color you need to use for your artwork always just choose like a two to three tone color for example green you just choose one light green one dark green and then my um, my chipmunk is kind of like a brown red brownish color right so I have a red I have a orange and I have a dark brown so two to three color that I will do and uh, for the um, the branch i have a, a little bit like a wood color right so that wood color and then this uh, light blue is uh, just for the highlight the yellow is for the highlight so i don't really um a little bit purple if you want to so actually i don't need these so oh, i have a 10 color plus white okay so that's us start it first we are going to um this uh, coloring watercolor pencil on the white cardstock or on the darker color cardstock the effects is kind of different and uh, i did create a, a video i have to take a look check local kings online video library there is a video talking about the watercolor pencil on the darker cardstock so in that video i kind of explained to you guys that um the basic coloring technique with a color pencil do a little a little bit practice and just pay attention to those details i'm going to mention it you will be fine first we're going to start with the um the white color and then make sure your pencil is sharp okay so i have at least the little pencil sharpener guy got it from amazon it's very good price okay before we start 
Usually, I will cut this uh, little guy before I coloring, and I mentioned in my video because uh, after you spend the time to coloring, and if you didn't line up your die cut, um, your hard work go down to a drain. But this one, because uh, the color pencil, um, color pencil, um, is kind of so it's kind of hard after I die cut it because of those branches is kind of detailed. So uh, I just uh, tell myself when I need to die cut, I make sure I'm going to use the, my guiding window um, to guiding it. So that's a start with the full basic technique. If you are using the pencil, okay, let's grab a piece of car stuff. So color on the dark car star and the color on the white car star is totally different. It's kind of like a reverse. If on the on the uh, white car star you want the light color, you use a very very light, like a, you don't push too hard. If you want it like a darker color, you have to call like a push your pencil a little bit darker color, right? But the color on the darker car star it kind of reverse. If you want a darker color showing your paper, you actually have to release a little bit pressure. If you want a lighter color, you actually have to push a little bit harder. So that way you get a like a lighter color. So it kind of reverse. Okay, so I have my little guys here and I have uh, my print here. So it's a good idea. You have a uh, some uh, picture next to you. So give you some idea where you're supposed to have a, a lighter color. Okay, so let's just start coloring. Like I said, we're going to start with the white area first. And so the eyelid, and then we are going to start just uh, gently. Okay, just gently give a, a little bit lighter color first like this and then we're going to push your marker a little bit harder so that way you can create some kind of shading same thing a little bit around the nose okay give a little bit lighter color first and then push a little bit harder okay the trick of uh, doing the watercolor penciling is when you start to um not just uh, water can uh, water pens or even like markers. Try to keep your um stroke together. Don't try to have like those kind of messy stroke. Okay, so um like uh, I have uh, a little bit on the air um, on the air here. So I'm going to just give a always start with a, a little bit lighting color, and then we add a little bit darker color. Not darker color. This is a revert. We add a little bit lighter color and push a little bit harder, and then you get a, like a brighter color. A little bit on the ears, okay. And then for the tail, same thing. See, I keep my stroke very, very short. So like this stroke part, you can see when I when I coloring, I start with like a light color, right? And then go back to add the lighter white so that kind of create a different kind of shading so that's uh, the key that make your artwork looks professional okay so let's do that in the way else we have white a little bit white on his butt okay just like here it's very easy just uh, follow this uh, um direction and do slowly a little bit practice you we are going to your artwork is going to look awesome, and especially like uh, my foundation card is this a pottery color, pretty similar like this a chick monk. So we the basic color we're going to use this pottery color, and then we just add a, a little bit white, and we just add a little bit darker color. So and then under here, give a little bit white. Okay, a little bit on the chest here. Okay, you can push harder, release a little bit pressure, and see you can see it. here's a darker color, here's a lighter color. And then his little fingers here, which is give a little bit white. Anyway else here is a little bit. Okay, I am pretty much done with my white area. And then next, I'm going to use the orange. Okay, it's nice and sharp. So I'm going to just give it a little bit shading here and there. The same way that we did the Y. Okay, just to give it a little bit shading. Use your color as your foundation color. So you don't really have to do too much. A little bit here. 
Okay, and then we're going to do yellow, a little bit highlight. So like here, going to give a little yellow. See, I keep my stroke very, very short and the tiny. Okay, and here we add a little bit yellow. And uh, what else here? The finger, we can add a little bit yellow here. And uh, here a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. And then now we are going to add actually a little bit purple. Okay. So if you're not sure what are you doing, just try to keep uh, um, the minimize your color. Don't try to put all the color. Just keep a few of the color and slowly build it out. Keep your stroke uh, short. Okay. I think uh, here, let's give it a little bit. Okay. That's pretty cute already. What do you think? Okay, and then now we are going to do the leaf part. Also, one light color, one dark color. You start with your lighter color. Keep your stroke one direction. Okay, and then keep it like under a quarter inches wide. Just give it the foundation color first. Okay. And then the other one. And those are the watercolor pencil. You can add some water if you want to. But I'm going to just keep it simple. Okay. This. And then one more leaves here. Okay. A little bit of the line is okay because we're going to die cut it so it doesn't really matter okay and then now i have my foundation color and then i'm going to just add a little bit darker green keep your stroke short okay kind of like using your darker pencil kind of like a blending like this like this like these that's pretty good and then we are going to do a pine cone the pine cone i am going to just add a little bit red because the, my pine cone basically is this pottery right so it's pretty good already i just want to give a little bit shading so the shading is you push hard you get like a brighter red you release a little bit pressure and then become lighter okay so just do that, do these a little bit here, here's one more knot here, okay, and then we're going to use the white color, give it a little bit reflection, okay, and then we're going to do a branch, so for the branch, let's give it a little bit highlight first, oh, I'm missing one over his uh, little toe here. And then we're going to use these like a branch color because our, our foundation colors are those pottery, right? So it makes it very, very easy. Um, coloring on the dark car cardstock and then coloring on the like a white cardstock, you know, the result may be different. Maybe if you like, I can try to, I can try to color um, the other watercolor pencil on the white cardstock. We can do the comparison to see what's different, but I am sure they all looks, uh, they have their unique way. Okay. So I think uh, that's pretty much, uh, I have this uh, darker brown. So this is darkest brown, um, my outline was uh, stamping with the black ink, right? So if you find that those black ink is too much, you can use the, the darker brown kind of Give a little bit touch on your black ink so make those the uh, black ink is not too black give you a little bit brownish color okay so that's it okay so the next we are going to die cut because i already spent uh, probably 10 minutes to coloring i make sure 
my die cut will line up perfectly i don't want to have any boo boo happen and then the, that's going to be so painful i have to do the coloring again so we create this guiding window and then look at this perfect line up and there's no outline so i'm going to just put our die cut there and then make sure you tape your die your template and the, the card that you need to cut so i'm going to run to the machine die cut it okay we have a clean cut before we pop the die cut out right and also remember all the local kings die cut have an embossing feature so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a little bit embossing why not so just to add a little bit more textures i'm going to just remove my adapter every machine is different my machine kind of need a shingle the one extra car stock okay, that's good and then that to show you what to look like okay can you see those uh, relief these uh, embossing like this okay and then now this is just a how I release uh, my template, keep this, uh, I mean, keep this template, you can use again, and uh, try to save your tape if you can. Okay, so this is uh, the guiding window and uh, I have been using all the time. And that's my little guide. And then if you want to, that's just uh, add a little bit more shading, just a little bit. You can do like a orange or potter color. Just a soft uh, cutting line a little bit. See, though local kings die cut, the die cut is right next to the stamp image, right? They don't have that white gap. If you that have that white gap, it kind of looks, uh, well, some people like it, some people do, and sometimes you want to have it, sometimes you don't. But the best part is, uh, or die cut is come with uh, two, two die cut, outline die and detail die. So if you want to have that, Outline. So here is the option. So here is your white outline. You can make a sticker. I think very cute. And also, or I can have a lot of uh, um extra detail. For example, like those dotting line, it add the extra um, texture. And the, his little hand, there's something called the kiss cut. So what I'm gonna do is I can just easily break it off. Okay, so when I mount on top, I just use my pen to kind of roll in a little bit. See, my hand is become like a 3D. So as uh, so the leaf here, Okay, so the next is uh, the center part. I just uh, using these uh, dots background. This is a uh, very useful. You probably already see I use these a uh, few of the time. But like I say, use what you have. And then this is uh, my center piece. And then this is uh, my little cheekbone, right? And then I found that the background is kind of empty. And I was uh, kind of looking for, uh, this is uh, the early design. It's called the skeleton leaf background set. And I have uh, this uh, oak skeleton leaf. So I think it's uh, going to look awesome. So I'm going to just uh, add some just around it. So, but you know what? This is the best part of uh, rubber stamping because you can use what do you have and be creative, right? Okay, just uh, just use these. Uh, oops, what will happen? Let me see if I can save it. Uh, that's okay. I was mentioning in my uh, last video, you know, when you make a mistake, don't try to, you know, restart again. Always try to fix that boo boo you made. That make the car making more interesting, right? It make kind of like a challenge. So I kind of just rotate this uh, leaf 
few different direction and I think this leaf will look awesome with a gold embossing powder too what do you think so you can add more or I think that's a uh, pretty much good enough okay and then I'm going to mount my center piece here remember this is the handmade project okay Okay, and then I am going to just uh, mount my little square over there. I think that's a pretty cute uh, puffy cheeks. What do you think? Okay, and then because uh, this is already like a piece of artwork, right? So what I'm going to do is I have this gel pen, but uh, they are kind of, I don't know, st stop working. And then in my... One of my videos I was mentioning, you can use this white out to kind of give it a highlight. See my scroll? Some white area, you can just use this white out. Not too much, just a little bit. My pine cone here, here. I think that looks um, awesome. Okay, and then the the car itself is already pretty busy, right? And I want to put some sentiment. So I bought this one. This is a this is a not a local game. This is a Tyler Express uh, stamp. The stamp itself is a twenty one forty Canadian dollars, and uh, you get all those uh, narrow saying. I think it's kind of pretty good. They do have a coordinated die cut, and I think this die cut was like $42 Canadian dollar, which I think is a kind of pricey. So if you want to have this one, you're looking for almost like a $62 Canadian dollar, probably like a $55 US dollars. Maybe you can find it cheaper. So I kind of like this idea because uh, once uh, when you die cut it, you end up to have too many different kinds of saying. Sometimes when your, your car is a little bit busy, you um you want to have a song sentiment on top um i think that's a pretty good idea so maybe i would design something but uh, i would definitely come up with something my own idea so maybe like a vertical song um i i found out it's always hard to find a vertical sentiment so if you like this idea leave me a comment let me know um maybe we um the next time when i design my stamps maybe I will add at least one to or or list okay so that's today's video I hope you like it or uh, puffy cheeks so still have a four more video to share with you guys how to use those eight brand new combos that and uh, stay tuned for that extra discount code for my YouTube viewers uh, and uh, I actually I just found out I have uh, over 350 YouTube video already so just check uh, local kings youtube channel and uh, i would love to know how many local kings youtube video have you watched if you can leave me a, leave me a comment below that will be awesome so this is lisa from local king robert stand thank you so much for watching see you next time bye